Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. At the range now, in a very cold and snowy day, but we're going to do a range comparison with the Glock 21 Gen 4 and 45 versus the Remington R1 Limited, also in 45. They are very different. The things that are in common is that they are both double stack 45 ACP handguns and they're both full size. A lot of differences, but we're going to compare them anyways. Glock 21, it has a 4.61 inch barrel. It is a large gun, but the larger Glock is a Glock 41. That's a long slide Glock. And then the smaller 45 is the Glock 30. Carries 13 rounds in the mag. It does have, this one has excess big dot night sights on there and a trigger pull that I measure right at five and a half pounds. Now I know Glock says on their site that their guns are typically five and a half pounds. I have not found that to be true, but this one actually is. It does have an accessory rail there, same Glock type of feel to it, you know, a little blocky. Uh, and you know, the magazine, this thing has fired everything that I have run through it throughout the years. I've, I've had it for about I don't know, two or three years now, and I've always enjoyed it. Let's take a few shots and see how it does. Felt a case come back at me there. But there it is, Glock 21. Nice handgun. Many people consider this a great home defense choice for those who want to use a handgun at home. But here we have the Remington R1 Limited, also a double stack, it's a 1911, carries 15 rounds, so two more rounds. Of course, a single action trigger that we're looking at, four and a half pounds. LPA adjustable sights, fiber optic front sight, front serrations, flared out magwell, five inch barrel, full length guide rod, G10 grips. Now, it's clear that in this comparison, this one is more feature loaded, but it's also much more expensive. You're looking at about 550 to 600 for this. You're looking at about a grand for this. So I'm gonna ask you to decide if it's worth it. You know, do you love the 1911 so much that it is a better choice? Now, the R1 Limited, I already mentioned 15 rounds but it is a nice shooting handgun. I also owned this for over two years, approximately about the same, I would guess, and I have always enjoyed this one as well. A very nice handgun. I already mentioned adjustable sights, G10 grips, ambidextrous thumb safety, and the one thing that this has over the Glock, if this is an advantage, is weight. You're looking at 54 and a half ounces loaded, and here you're looking at 39 and a half ounces loaded. So about 15 ounces heavier with this double stack 1911. Let's take a few shots here. All right. So which one would you choose if you had to just choose one? Both of these are fine models. Both of them fire every time I've pulled the trigger, at least in the last three years. They are very different as mentioned, but is price a factor? Well, price is always a factor, but in this comparison, what do you think? Would you go a little bit less expensive and get the reliability and the ruggedness of a Glock, or are you more into a little more finer handgun in the 1911, the, the four and a half pound trigger pull versus the five and a half pound trigger pull. The five inch barrel versus the four inch barrel, not a great difference on the slide length. Of course, that's not including the extended beaver tail. 13 rounds, 15 rounds. It's a tough choice. You know, are you willing to pay the additional money for the Remington R1 Limited? Well, let me tell you what I think. Love the gun, but I shoot this better. And the fact that they're both double stack 45s, that's great. 
but I, I actually think it's worth the additional money. Now, whether it's this Remington or any other 1911 and 45, I just really enjoy it. I think it's a fine handgun and everything that it offers just suits me and, and what I'm looking for a little bit better than the Glock, but I'm sure I'll get feedback with all types of different opinions about which one is better, but I think they're both pretty outstanding. I'm going with the Remington. Which one would you choose? If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.